Yeah, brief explanation of the items I use. Uh, you need a lot of these, a lot of plastic cups. You need sometimes measuring cups. A funnel can be used, won't be today. Um, you need paint. This is uh, golden fluid acrylic. This is just normal uh, Utrecht artist acrylic. This is uh, artist loft um, acrylic. And uh, here we have some of the uh, artist loft fluid acrylic. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mix paint. Uh, I have some already made here a blue, a black, a green already made. And basically in here, if we take one of these, something this size, um, the bottom part, you put your paint, about a third of the way, or even less, maybe a quarter of the way up, you put your paint. Then you take, uh, uh, this is 100% silicone, and it happens to be treadmill belt lubricant. That's what's gonna allow us to uh, develop the cells, or what are we normally refer to as cells. And in some cases, it'll develop cracking, or uh, crazing is, is the way they word it. Um, but you put a third of the paint, about eight drops of the treadmill oil, and then the rest of, of the cup, uh, until you get a good mixture that runs easily off of a, a tinsel, you can you put in, uh, this is Floetrol. Um, and another ingredient that I had been using instead of Floetrol was Liquitex Professional uh, Pouring Medium. Uh, difference is this seems to give me nice large flows, whereas this gives me a lot of tiny cells. Okay, and uh, then you also, of course, you need your whole collection of spoons so you can do mixing. You need things to uh, paint with, such as uh, uh, flat surfaces. Okay, so for ease of demonstration, what we're going to do now is called the dirty cup method. I don't use a dirty cup. I'm going to use a nice clean one. But uh, I guess traditionally people have used dirty cups. Um, we have a set up here a canvas. And we have two catch basins on either side of the canvas. I have um, uh, different items underneath the canvas just holding it up. Uh, the canvas itself, once I lay it back down, needs to be perfectly level. Unless, unless you're trying to for some sort of special effects that requir requires the paint to flow off. So, the thing we're going to do, and I didn't mention this earlier, the white paint does not get silicon oil into it. You know, silicon oil into the white paint. Um, the uh, other colored paints are going to have that. Today we're going to use, um, of course, we, we need white. So the first thing we'll pour it in, I, I fixed this little fixture of white. I made it and I mixed it the way I described earlier. And we'll just pour a good amount of the white at the bottom. Okay, and then what we'll probably have interacting with the white next is sort of this nice blue that I just made. I, I just made. Okay, we'll just pour some of that in there. Okay, and if you see in here, you can see that there are cells already being created even in the cup itself. If you just look right in here to the, to the cup, you were able to see that thing. You can see the cells are being, being kind of formed already inside the cup. Um, and that's the silicon. Uh, interacting with 
the pink. And then on top of blue, I made a nice purple. Let's put some purple in there. And we'll bring that up a little bit with purple. And then we'll put on top of that, we'll put this teal color. Bring it up a little higher. A lot, I like teal, so we'll get a lot of teal in there. Okay, I think we'll add just a touch of black for contrast. Okay, and then we'll finish this off with some more white. I made some more white, and I think it's in here. I think this is, this is, what is this? Yeah, this must be white. So we'll pour the white in there. Okay. And we'll pour some more white in here. Okay, so now we're just going to pour in the rest of that white I just made. <laughs> and we're up to the top of this. So we won't add any more. Because um, I wanted a little more white, I, was, I might have to add some to the canvas directly. So the next step here is to do a flip. What we're going to do is take the canvas. Hold it from underneath. Well, first, let's put off some space so I can do this. And we'll make a mess here. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in here. Okay. Okay, now the cup is on top of the canvas. I'm gonna hold it tight, turning it over. I'm going to set it back down on, uh, hopefully on these places. Okay, it looks, it doesn't look quite level. Let me just, okay, there we go. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll work a little more. Oh, I see this needs to be over here a little more. Okay, now I think we got it level. Okay. Now. Um, we let it flow. And if we want, we can get to move. Over here a little. Okay. And oh, it's starting to flow off this edge, so we'll lift this edge up a little. And let it flow off the other edge. <sighs> Wait till it gets over there. Starting to flow off that edge, just so let's get down to this corner over here if we can. Okay, we did that. We will be rather quickly. Let's see if we can get over here to this corner. Uh, yeah. Okay. Over there. I'm gonna go back behind it. And get it to come down towards. Oh, you shouldn't get your fingers in there. You can avoid it. 
because sometimes you can't. Okay. Let's get this go over there, so. We think about composition a little. I still want a little this way, so. I can get that to come this way. And then I still want a little in that corner. Okay, now. Uh, okay, so here is where we need to get it level again. Make sure we have this level. Okay. So over the next hour or so, we want to make sure that all the paint doesn't run off. And the only way you can do that is make sure you have the painting level. So when you see it dripping off of one end, you raise that end up and keep it from dripping. And you try to get the flow to stop. Um, also, just this point, it's best to go ahead and do that and go up here and take a strain over here just so that we have all the corners covered okay thank you jen that's fine and thank you